In the previous video, we saw how we can make an animation run forever. In this video, we will learn other CSS properties that you can use to have more control over the animation. You can use the animation direction property. This property accepts four different values. Normal, which is the default one. And then there is the value of reverse. When you set the animation direction to reverse, it will play in reverse direction. Instead of going from 0% to 100%, it will go from 100% to 0%. Here I have an animation added to this box and make it go from the left to the right. And also the animation iteration count is set to infinite. Here if I say animation direction reverse, now the animation will start from the right side then goes to the left side. So from 100% to 0%. You can also use a value of alternate. Basically what it does, it lets your animation runs forward first then backward. And the last value that you can use is alternate reverse to make the animation run backward first then forward. And here we can notice that the animation has is as a timing function. Just like we saw with CSS transitions, you can customize it or you can use is which is the default value or linear or is in or is out or is in out or you can create your own timing function using cubic bezier or the step function. 